that is why it is very important that we talk about this issue of consistency. That is one of the message of Mazen Nandekano that we must not forget. I tell you that you should take that word as your memory verse. Take that word as your memory verse. Consistency is the key. Let it be your memory verse. At all times, let it be your memory verse. Consistency is the key. I want to remind you about that consistency because of the court of Mazin Nandekano. As Mazin Nandekano had come, come to court and gone, I said it yesterday that there will be many propaganda. There are many blackmail. And all of you are going to be emanating from people who decided to misinterpret what Mazin Nandekano have said. A lot of people are going to come out to misinterpret the information that Mazin Nandekano gave us. So many people are going to manipulate the information that Mazin Nandekano passed. They are going to manipulate it. And you have seen it. It's happening. You see it is happening everywhere. You can see it. You can experience it. You can feel it. It's happening. It is high time we remain consistent. Go and check. Even people who are not following Mazin Nandekano all this while, even people who doesn't have anything to do with IPOB, who doesn't have anything to do with the Biafra struggle, today, they are all cashing in in that message of Mazin Nandekano. Message that Mazin Nandekano passed to legitimate Biafrans on the way forward, on what to do, on how to stand firm and make sure that we actualize Biafra. That message was clear. Don't allow anybody to manipulate that message against you. Don't allow anybody to use that message of Mazin Nandekano to blackmail you. The message is straightforward. The message is straightforward. When Mazin Nandekano made that message, he was talking to a particular group of people. He was talking to a particular group of people. But today, you see them using that very message that Mazin Nandekano made to manipulate it. They are manipulating it now against the people who are genuinely fighting for the actualization of Biafra. But I want to tell you, before you were listening to anybody that is saying anything to you, first of all, remember that in that very video that Mazin Nandekano said that Biafra must come. Mazin Nandekano also made a comment there and said that we are fighting. We are fighting to actualize Biafra. We are fighting to protect our land, protect our people, and not to kill them. That word should ring a bell in your ear. Mazin Nandekano is not disappointed with the situation. He's not disappointed with anything that you can see happening. He's not disappointed. Mainly in their cause and again in the life of the Biafrans because he's aware, he knows that whatever is happening today is what is going to happen. He's not taken by surprise. Mazin Nandekano is not just an ordinary leader. He is our spiritual leader. And Mazin Nandekano knows so many things that we don't know. He knows so many things that we don't know. The outcome of the court. We have known the outcome of the court. Even before Mazin Nandekano came to court, he knows the outcome. So many of us know the outcome. We knew. We know the outcome. There is nothing the Jain Jawi will do that we are not aware that they are going to do it. It is very easy to predict them. Very, very easy to predict them. So Mazin Nandekano is not surprised at anything. And he's not disappointed. And when he used that word, he's not disappointed. He was using that word to cap up so many information. He's not disappointed. He's not disturbed about whatever they did in that court. He's not disappointed about we Biafran, the genuine Biafran that are agitated, the genuine Biafran that are sitting at home, making sure that their voice is being heard. Mazin Nankan is not disappointed at you. And you saw the message of Mazin Nankan. He was straight. If Mazin Nankan wanted us to stop sit at home, Mazin Nankan will say it in one word. Stop the sit at home. I don't want it. If Mazin Nandekano want to say, want, don't want you to protest, he will say, stop the protest. I don't want it. If Mazin Nandekano don't want you to fight for Biafra, he will say, stop fighting. I don't want it. But you say, this Mazin Nandekano we are talking, the Mazin Nandekano we are following has not made any such comment. Mazin Nandekano have never told us to stop sitting at home. Mazin Nandekano have never told us to stop fighting for Biafra. Mazin Nandekano have never told us to stop our civil disobedience to make sure that he's being released to make sure that our voice will be heard, to make sure that every Biafran is held captive as we release. Mazin Nandekan never told us to stop. He never told us to stop. Mazin Nandekan went further to remind us that we are fighting. He used that word. We are fighting to protect our people, to protect our land, and to defend our people, not to kill them. Not to kill them. The warning of Mazin Nandekan when he said that he wants peace and calm in Biafra land, Mazin Nandekano gave that warning. He want peace and calm. He was addressing those imposters. He was addressing those wicked ones. He was addressing those both in the full and the caliphate, their military, 
and even some Biafras who have paid, who has sold their soul to the enemy. Some Biafras who have sold their soul to the enemy, taking the life of innocent Biafras. Those were the people who once in that was warning. Those were the people who once in that Those who are forming the death squad. Those who are forming different kind of military uh, 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 gangs, forming different kinds of gangs, kidnapping people, kiko people, killing innocent people. Those were the Martin Nankano was against. Those are the people Martin Nankano was warning that he won't scam in Biafra land. That was the warning of Martin Nankano. Martin Nankano never told us that we should go and participate in the election. Martin Nankano told us, never told us that we should go and get PCC and vote for election. The people, even those people, the idiots that are supporting P2B and whatever, they are now using that message of Martin Nankano to blackmail their friends. They are using that message of Martin Nankano, which was made on good intent to genuine their friends to know what to do and what to follow. You see those people, the one Nigerianist, they are now using it as a campaign slogan. They are now using it as, an, as something to use it to, to, to begin to deceive their friends into their election. But let me tell you, remember that very what I told you. Remember that memory verse. Consistency is the key. Don't forget that memory verse. Consistency is the key. Whenever they bring any propaganda to you, whenever they bring any blackmail, whenever they come to tell you do this and do that, tell them that consistency is the key. And what are you consistent in? Mazen Nandekano. In that his message at the end of it, he said, Biafra must come. That no man can stop the coming of Biafra. They can't stop it. He said it. They can't stop the coming of Biafra. That Biafra must come. In that court, he made mention, Biafra must come. What does that tell you? You must continue to ask for self-determination and the referendum. That is the only assignment you have. That is the only assignment. Your assignment is not to go and vote. Your assignment is not to go and participate in the election. The assignment Mazin Nandi kind of have reminded us on that very message is that Biafra must come and continue to fight for Biafra. Mazen Nankan say, we are fighting. That is why I am here. That is why he is there in the DSS. That is why he's there in the court, representing you and fighting for you. We are fighting. That is what he said. So if anybody is going to tell you to drop your, your agitation, if anybody is going to tell you to stop sitting at home, if anybody is going to tell you to stop your civil disobedience, in order to please that that was what Martin Nankan said, tell that person that consistency is the key. Anybody that bring that blackmail, tell that person that Martin Nankan said consistency is the key. And that is where we stay. That is where we stand. The message of Martin Nankan was very, very clear. Very, very clear and loud. Even though the enemies, I said it yesterday that they were going to cash into that very message. They were going to catch them, and even the some idiots who were there, their intention of making that, their intention of capturing that message was to use it to blackmail the Biafran people. But I thank you, Kukariama, that Mazen Nandekano is not a man you can play on. Mazen Nandekano is not a man you can use. Mazen Nandekano is still very, very sound. He will say things when he has to say, and his message was loud and clear, loud and clear. You see some of some people go to their platform. They are writing that as um, uh, that Mazen Nandekano said, someone ever should stop killing people. Someone ever should stop doing this. Someone ever should stop doing this. Mazen Nandekano never mentioned Simon ever. In fact, where the issue connected Simon ever was when he said that we are fighting. And Biafra must come. And Mazen Nandekano is very, very pleased with Simon ever and what he's doing. He is not disappointed. When he said, before he started coming, he said he's not disappointed. That I am not disappointed is not only about his case. He is not disappointed about what we are doing outside for him. We, he is not disappointed about what we are doing to make sure that he's being released unconditionally. He's not disappointed at our seat at home. He's not disappointed at our civil disobedience. He's not disappointed at the fact that we said that we do election. Do you think they have not told him? They must have told Martin Nandekan that we say there will be no election in Biafra land. In that very court, those people that took that video, for whatever reason they, they, they took that video, those people must have told Mazen Nandekano that we have declared and said that there will be no election. And we are sitting at home. Mazen Nandekano is away. But why Mazen Nandekano was talking? Mazen Nandekano never told us to stop sitting at home. He never told us to participate in the election. Mazen Nandekano made the statement and said that he won't come in Biafra land. And he was talking to the fools, to the idiots that are taking the life of Biafran people. 
he was talking about to those Fulani Janjaweed, the Fulani terrorists, and the people they are using in Biafra land, all those people who are wearing the body of IPOB, wearing the flag of Biafra, using the flag of Biafra to commit all manner of evil, they are the people Mazen Nanikan was talking to. And it made his, his statement clear that he wants calm in Biafra land. He wants calm in Biafra land. This set of people we are operating, even when Mazen Nanikan was with us, remember when they went to rob a bank during the time of, uh, during the, time of the NSAS, they went to break up a bank and they went to Biafran flag and put that flag there in order to frame Biafran. It is Biafran people that are doing it, but they are not Biafrans. They are not Biafran. These are criminals. Those criminals are the people that Mazen Dangar is warning. It doesn't matter where you hide yourself. You can hide yourself under IQUB. You can hide also hide yourself under the the past leadership. You can hide yourself under the expired leadership on one of those Nzama people. You can hide yourself under any name and come up. You are you are failing on arrival. You are just a failure. A failure is what you are, and that is what you remain. Mazen Nanakan has given that warning. If anybody is going to blackmail you with the message of Mazen Nanakan, tell you that Mazen Nanakan say we should stop doing what we are doing. That is not what Mazen Nanakan said. If anybody come to preach to you and begin to present that very message of Mazen Nanakan and say Mazen Nanakan say stop doing this, stop it, tell them that that wasn't the message of Mazen Nanakan. Tell them that Mazin Nandekan who told us that consistency is the key. Consistency is the key, and we are consistently demanding for our referendum, for our freedom. We are not asking for any that. We are not asking for any Igbo presidency. We are not asking for any post. We are not asking for any better Nigeria. We have nothing to do with their so-called Nigeria. They are restructuring whatever they want. That is not what we are after. We are asking for our independence from the zoological republic. We want our independence. That is all we want. All we want is our freedom from the Zoological Republic, and no man, one of a woman, can stop it. Mazen Nanakano said that in the court, that Biafra must come. Nobody can stop Biafra. Biafra must definitely come. Don't allow anybody to block you. Don't allow anybody to blackmail you. Do not allow anybody to blackmail you. They are going to come. They are definitely going to come. They, are, they have started coming. So that yesterday, from that yesterday that that video was released, go and check. Go and check online and see the kind of message people what, what people are doing with the video. That video that Mazen Nani can release, that statement he released, go and check and see what people are doing with it. That is the kind of people we have. Some of them are so evil that they always capitalize on the good thing that Mazen Nani can have done, using the good intent of Mazen Nani for evil. That is what human being, that is how wicked human beings are. That is how wicked human beings are. You make something, you see somebody will establish something with a good foundation. At the end of the day, you see people begin to use it for evil. Begin to, that's why when you see the pastors who call the people who call themselves pastors, you see people who call themselves pastors, the way they are destroying Christianity. Christianity that was established for good intent. The Bible itself was established for good intent, for correction, and for advice. When you read the Bible, it will correct you. It will teach you a lesson. It will teach you what will happen when it will not happen. Tell you the direction to follow. But you see people using that same quotation you see in the Bible, the scripture, they will still use it and begin to perpetrate their evil. They will look for a passage and use it to support their evil deeds. They will use their, some portion in that Bible to use it to oppress you. Meanwhile, the intention of the writer is not for oppression. It's not for oppression. It's not oppressive. That is what they are doing. And I said yesterday, that is what they're going to do with the message of Mazen Nanikan. They will use that message. They will twist the message to use it to oppress Biafran people. They will twist the message to use it to blackmail Biafran people. Don't allow anyone to blackmail you. I said this yesterday and I'm saying it again today because I know that that is the next phase they are going to go. That is why we have to be fast and we have to begin to waken the subconscious of our people before they arrive. Before they arrive. They have started already. Go to so many platforms. Those who are supporting this their political nonsense, those who are campaigning for Peter will be campaigning for their government, those who are Nigerians, those who are Nigerians, this is the only time they were playing the message of Mazen Nanikan. Some people that, that have never posted anything about Mazen Nanikan, they have never posted any of his video, they have not posted the picture, they have never supported him, but all of a sudden, every one of them today is sharing that video. And when they share this video, they will put on some evil write-up. Go and check what they are writing as they are putting up the video. Go and check what they write. People who have never supported Biafra from day one, they have never ever supported Biafra. People who are one Nigerian, they never support Biafra. 
people who will fight you simply because you are asking for the freedom of Mazen Nadikam. People who will fight you because you are sitting at home for the freedom of Mazen Nadikam. Today, they are the people who are carrying that very video for their evil intent. When you are there, they will present it before you. They say Mazen Nadikam, they say, it won't come in Biafra Lam. Mazen Nadikam is not talking to the agitators. He's not talking to the genuine agitators. Mazen Nadikam is talking to the evil people, the criminal politicians, the criminal members of YPUB, the criminal zoological republic, their military, those evil people who claim who are wearing the clothes of IPOB, even when they are even when we know that they are evil, those who are parading their killer squad, those are the people Mazen Nandikan is talking to. And you know them. You know them by their name. I don't need to call their name. You know them. And they know that that statement was for them. But you see them go to their platform. They say Mazen Nandikan is talking to someone everywhere. Mazen Nandikan, Mazen Nandikan, if there is nobody, if there is nobody, Mazen Nandikan will remember where he is. You will remember if you forget every other person, you will not forget someone ever. If Mazen Nandi cannot forget every other person, he cannot forget someone ever. And it will be very easy for him to say, Someone ever, stop doing this or stop doing that. If there is any name, he will forget, not the name of someone ever. This was the man he called his name when he was captured. The only man he mentioned his name, I said, Go to Radio Biafra and broadcast. Go to Radio Biafra. He trusted him so much that he was able to hand over power for it to him. Why he was in the station. He gave him that authority. Go and broadcast. So, if there were any information he wants to pass, if there was any mistake that man is making, that single opportunity he had, he would have said, Simon Eber, stop what you're doing. But he never said so. He didn't say so. Instead, he said he's not disappointed. He is not. He is not disappointed. He is not disappointed at Simon Eber. He is not disappointed at the genuine agitators. He is not disappointed at the outcome he's seen in the court no matter. He's not disappointed at our seat at home. He used that, I am not disappointed, to cover so many, so many things that have to do with the people who are genuinely following, following him. People that are close to him, genuinely follow him. He told them, I am not disappointed. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at what's happening. He's not disappointed. He's not surprised. Mazin Nandikana is not just an ordinary leader. He is our spiritual leader. Mazin Nanakano prays seven good times every day. And today that you see him in captivity, he's praying 24 hours, praying for you and I. And you think that such a man, something can happen without his knowledge. There is nothing that is happening that is not our way. There are so many things that he knows that he cannot even tell you over there. He can't say it. He can't say it. But the warning he gave, you and I know who the warning is meant for. And the people know themselves. But as usual, you will see all the canker worms. They will come out from all their shelves. All of them have come out to go and copy the statement. They copy the video. They are sharing it. Sharing it for their, for their evil intention. They are sharing it to use it to blackmail people. To use it to blackmail Biafrans. To use it to calm Biafrans down. To use it to disturb what we are doing. But I thank Chukwu Kukabiyama for the person he has given us. I thank Chukwu Kukabiyama for the person he has raised through Mazen Nandekam. Chukwu Kukabiyama have raised someone ever through Mazen Nandekam. And today, you can see him speaking louder than ever. Nothing changes. Consistency is the key. He is very consistent. There will be no election in Biafran land. It doesn't matter how they try. It doesn't matter the weapon of their warfare. It doesn't matter the, the propaganda they bring. There will be no election in Biafran land. If you want to conduct election, go. If you want to go to conduct election, go to the north, go to the south, go to anywhere and conduct the election, not in Biafran land. Not in Biafra. We will not participate. It cannot happen again. It can't happen again. And the Biafrans are ready to do everything possible to make sure that the election does not hold in Biafra land. Biafrans will do everything possible to make sure the election doesn't hold. Because we cannot be enslaved. The enslavement is enough. They've enslaved us for so long and we cannot continue to be slaves in a nation where we are supposed to grow. In our nation, where we're supposed to be first class citizens, we are relegated to the background. And they want to bring another blackmail, bring another propaganda. This time that their friends are awake, we are not sleeping. It can't happen. It doesn't matter who they bring. They are parading their P2B or whatever, use it to blackmail you. They are using P2B. Somebody will come and tell you, is your brother, you're not supporting him. Tell that person to go to hell. If your brother doesn't support your freedom, you won't support that, your brother. If anybody is telling you that P2B is your brother, why are you not supporting him? Tell him that P2B is against your freedom. 
P2B is against your freedom. That is why you cannot support him. If P2B wants to be a president, let him wait. When Biafra comes, he can contest in Biafra land and take up the presidency. He can contest in Biafra land and take up the presidency. But for him to be supporting the enslavement of his own people, that is what it means. For him to participate in the election in Nigeria, it means that he is supporting the enslavement of his people. Because P2B cannot change the zoological republic. P2B cannot change the situation of the Igbo people. He cannot change the situation of the Biafra. In fact, he will make it worse. P2B is going to worsen our situation. He will make, he will make us much more enslaved. More. How, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? Even let's assume him by mistake, because it's not going to be happened by miracle, it's not happened by magic. If by mistake they happen to put him there, what is he going to change? What is he going to change? Can P2B change the constitution of Nigeria? He cannot change the constitution. Can P2B remove the quota system, the quota system that makes the educated man to become uneducated in the Zoological Republic? Can he change it? The answer is no. Can P2B change the diversity, the wicked diversity, the diversity that is killing people in the Zoological Republic? Can he change it? The answer is no. He cannot change it. The diversity will remain. Can P2B make a full animal to love a human being more than a cow? How can he do it? How can P2B make the full animal love a human being more than a cow? How can he do it? Of course, he cannot do that. So, why are you telling people to support P2B? Why are you telling you? Why are you asking me why am I supporting my brother? Why should you come and ask me why am I supporting my brother, my brother that is supporting my enslavement when he knows he said that he doesn't have any, any solution? You just want to make a name. Maybe he wants to make a name to be seen as the first, the first Igbo person that have, have run as a president in, in the Zoological Republic. You, maybe he wants to take, take up that name as the first president, president of the Igbo extraction within their, their democratic era. He wants to take up that title, and that title is what he's pursuing. But when you talk of critical change, ask him a question, how can he effect change in the Zoological Republic? He can effect change. How can he create unity? How can he create unity between a Fulani man and uh, an Igbo Biafran? How can you create unity between a Fulani man and a Biafran? How? How will you do it? How are you going to remove the, the, the quota system? The quota system that makes it possible that somebody that is educated in the southern part of Nigeria will not be admitted to the university and somebody in the north will be admitted to the university. How can he do it? How will he do it? How? Everything I'm reading out to you are things that are going to, things that are going to be changed change in the House of Assembly. They are they all wrong. After all much said and done, after all your voting and all what, they will take everything to the House of Assembly to go and debate it. And in the debate in the House of Assembly, only Kano State, only Kano State vote will stand against every vote you have to cast in the Southeast. Only Kano State. So how do you, how do you intend to effect any change in the Zoological Republic? How? How do you tell it to do it? To do it? You see why we can never support anybody. It doesn't matter whom you are. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. It doesn't matter how brainy you think you are. It doesn't matter what you think you have done in the past or the present. As long as you are participating in anything called the election in the Zoological Republic, you are an enemy. You are a wicked person. You are a wicked soul. That is what it means. You are a wicked soul because you are trying to force your people to sign off to another slavery. Another slavery of eight years slavery. That's what you want to be signed into. And pray, pray, pray that no, no person from Biafra land becomes a president in that Zoological Republic. If P2B becomes a president, that is when you will see what is called death in Zoological Republic. That's when you see what is called death in Biafra land. We are going to lose more life. If P2B succeed in being the president of the Zoological Republic, that is when we will lose more life. That is when we are going to lose more life. But you see people, See people, confu see people confusing themselves. See people pretending, pretending that something is going to change when they know that nothing, nothing can change. Nothing can change. Nothing. There is no sign of change anywhere. These people know that there is no sign of change anywhere in the planet Earth. No sign of change. But they are pretending that somehow somebody is going to change something. What are you going to change? How can you effect change? How can you? Is a country run by one person? Do you run a country by one person? Is it only the president that runs a country? Is it one person that runs a country? Since you have been shouting P2B, 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 so how many senators, how many senators, how many people have got, are preparing themselves to contest in the Senate, House of Senate? 
How many senators are you going to win? How many governors are you? How many governors country aspirant are you bringing out? How many governorship aspirants are you bringing out from Labour Party? Is there anyone in the Senate? How many members of Labour Party are going to win the Senate? Wait. When you see reality, you'll be closing your eyes to reality, and you choose to follow. You choose to follow something. You choose to follow the trending issue. That is that is the sad thing about the zoological republic. The sad thing about the zoological republic, people tend to follow anything that is trending, not minding if it is useful or not useful. Not minding if that thing is dead, is dead at their own detriment. They don't care. As long as this thing is trending, a name is trending, a music is trending, something is trending. Even when nothing that is trending is against their own life, against their future, against their religion, against everything they stand for, yet, simply because that thing is trending, you see them promoting it. You see them promoting it. You see people chasing trending topic. Chasing trend. Some people who were shouting about Mazin Nandekam, pretending to be following Mazin Nandekam, only to boast their platform. So many of them who were pretending to follow Mazin Nandekam, just to boast their platform and win several. All of a sudden, they saw another trending issue. P2B, P2B and PVC. Go and check their platform. Many of them have changed 360 degrees. And all you hear from them today is, about PVC and P2B, the new trending motor for them. But I bet you, Mazen Nan Nekano and Biafra doesn't have anything to do with trending. It's a household name. It has come to stay. It will, it has been, and will be, and will always be. Mazen Nan Nekano and Biafra is a household name. No man born of a woman can take it out. That is why you see, no matter the, the but the propaganda they are pushing online with the, the way they are posting all manner of nonsense they are pushing still Mazin Nandekano and Biafra is still on the front burner they will never forget it every Monday every Monday Biafrans are still sitting at home even as they are preparing with their feet to be propaganda and all Biafrans are still sitting at home every Monday and that is how it will remain there will be no election just watch and see every Biafran is preparing the genuine Biafrans, forget about the few people who are one Nigerian, those of them who either their uncle is contending for local government chairman or contending for one post or the other. And because of that, when you talk about uh, no election, you see them get angry. Even when they know that the election can never change their life, it cannot put food on the table. It will only be for a, a, a period of time and they go back into their suffering. For the celebrities, this is their season to make money. So when you see them shouting, PVC, shouting P2B, it is their season to make money. Go and see the celebrities. They are boosting their channels. They are boosting their platforms. The time to make money. Everyone around is talking so that the appointment will be given to them. When the campaign starts, you will see the same celebrity. They will be the one to go and play music. They will play music for Atiko Abaka. They will play music for, for Tulubu. They will play music for other aspirants. They will play music for P2B. The same people. But today, they are pursuing the trending topics. That is what they are. That is their, that is their job. So I don't expect much from them. All those celebrities, I don't expect anything from them. They have never supported Biafra, and we never support Biafra. They have never, ever been with us. So for them to begin to blackmail us today is dead on arrival. It's only those who don't know they are left and right that they can blackmail. For those of us who are the followers of Mazen Nandekano, we follow Mazen Nandekano day and night. Even when they are never take light, we are still following Mazen Nandekano. Only his voice alone. Only his voice. And that word he spoke is another energizing word for us. He told us that we are fighting to protect our people. Don't forget that word. It, that is the key word you can get there. Fighting. He used that word, fighting. He used that word, fighting. And he also said that Biafra will definitely come. Biafra will definitely come. He said we are fighting. And he said Biafra will definitely come. And he, before he started, he made mention that, that he's not disappointed at us. He's not surprised at what is happening. He's not disappointed. He is standing. And he say he is there because of you and I. He is fighting over there for you and I. And it is our duty to fight to protect Biafra land, not to kill Biafrans, not to destroy lives of Biafra. We are fighting to protect Biafra. The people who are coming to take the land for Biafra are the people we are going to face head on. We have to restore peace in Biafra land. We have to restore peace in Biafra. And the way we can restore peace in Biafra is to chase away the full and the giant away, the full and the giant away in Biafra. They are terrorist military. 
anybody that is like those ones who are sharing that video, those politicians, those who are talking about, about the election, who are politicians sharing the video about that. If you want to restore, if you genuinely listen to the message of Martin Nandekan, go and tell the ginger with the military in Biafra land to move away. Tell the ginger with the military in Biafra land that they should leave Biafra land. They are the ones constituting nuisance in Biafra land. They are the one taking the life of the people. They are the one that have created the insecurity in Biafra land is being created by the full and faith through their military. The insecurity in Biafra land is created by the DSS through their force. No other person. Everything you see, both the kidnapping you are seeing in Biafra land, including those ones that have been involved, the criminals have involved them. The criminals that have joined them, the criminals were able to join them because if they themselves came out with their politicians and they bought into it, they formed different kinds of group. The politicians formed different kinds of armed group and they went into kidnapping. And some other hoodlums joined them. And the military is in their support, backing them up. They have them, they are the ones kidnapping and doing all manner of evil. These are the people Martin Nankan is warning. They should stay at our land. And if you're one of those who want Biafra land to be calm, tell the military to pull out of Biafra land. They have no business. Are yet to wake up from your slumber or your sleep and get the point that we are exiting Nigeria. Exiting Nigeria is not going to come from the platter of golden plate. You have to sacrifice for it. And we are ready to sacrifice everything, including you. If you come and stand in the way of freedom. So you need to know how serious we are. We are damn serious. Some of you are not getting it. You think we are here to, to make to build political movement? We are here for freedom. Freedom come with price. Okay? The only thing you can do is to comment on social media. Don't ever stand on the way of Biafra freedom. We we'll crush you. Their interest is suppressed. Biafra is the key. Once they can hold Biafra down, they can hold all of Africa down. <laughs> Hey, freedom fighting, sorry. Because all these people are criminals, they are saying there is no way this man cannot be a criminal like themselves. They don't have a different breed altogether. They don't know that. I am an Nam Kano. I don't do all this nonsense you do. My father was a very rich man, not ostentatious. I had the finest education that his money could afford. We are not poor. Have never been. That is why a poor man cannot be a freedom fighter. If you are not full of yourself, you cannot be a freedom fighter. You cannot go everywhere. We must continue.